G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Um, go to LearnDelphi.tv uh, to check out some of my other videos and some of my, uh, I've got some commercial videos which are um, quite useful, uh, but not for what we are going to be looking at today, which is building a FireMonkey mobile application. Let's try that again, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to create a uh, blank application and we're going to write sort of a mobile fish facts, sort of the, the most basic version of it um, that I could come up with. Uh, to start off with, I throw a client data set on and load some data and we'll load the, the classic BioLife uh, fish facts database. And um, let's go bind to a string grid and um, actually I also want a bind navigator. Um, I'll just turn off the Chrome so we can see a bit more. Uh, let's align that top and that client. I wonder what it's just aligned there. And hook that up to the oops, bind source, and I'm just going to get rid of some of these buttons. So we've just got the navigation buttons. Um, and a image which will align bottom a little bit bigger and we want to bind that to the graphic. Um, so that's effectively sort of our FishFacts application written. We need to do one other thing, and that's in our deployment options. Um, we need to add uh, F, F edit a featured item, and that's the Midas library, uh, so that we can use our client dataset. Um, so that's pretty much ready to run. Uh, so let's flick over, um, sorry, flick over to our uh, mountain lion uh, virtual machine. Uh, it is possible to install OS 10 in a virtual machine. It's uh, pretty tricky. Uh, requires uh, some uh, some serious hackery, um, but I won't go into into specifically how it's done. You can sort of look it up on YouTube or the internet. Um, so we've got our PA server running, and uh, and I've configured um, the sort of we're going with the uh, iOS simulator, and. Um, Got all the sort of various bits and pieces set up. Uh, there's a bunch of things that you need to set up, and it's all basically fairly easy to follow uh, in the um, help. When you create a new uh, iOS application, it, it brings up a help file uh, giving you the steps involved, and basically you just follow those. Which you know, effectively involves you know, installing Xcode and uh, some of the SDKs and um, some other bits and pieces. So uh, here we go. So there's our uh, application running, and we can navigate through. So uh, this is this is the pretty much the extent of my uh, fiddling with um, iOS. I'll uh, be doing um, some more application development. Uh, I've managed to crash it quite a few times, but I'm not sure whether that's me doing um, sort of inappropriate things with the uh, with virtual machines. But I'm running. Uh, the OS 10 in a virtual machine, and I've got um, Windows VM, which is running the XE4. It's the the trial version. I don't have um, haven't been issued. The MVPs haven't been issued with um, serials for uh, um, uh, Delphi XE4. I sort of uh, so I look forward to getting uh, the full version up and running, and which I'll install on my actual machine, which would make things run a little bit more smoothly. Uh, but for now. Uh, that's up and running. That's pretty much 
all I wanted to demonstrate. Um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv, um, and yep, basically go check out my commercial videos. Thank you.